I'm sure we've all had those moments where we're home alone, everything seems nice and quiet and peaceful, and you start to hear a little something above you. You know what that is? There's a man in the attic. And that's the name of the game I'm playing today, let's play. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory. Oh, my phone. Okay, this is uh it's a memory that I'm about to relive because this actually happened to me IRL. Not even kidding. I mean, maybe a little, but I remember when I first moved into the house I live in now, I was left here home alone once and I heard some stuff. Basically, the story goes as follows. I was home alone. My brother went out to a play with his then girlfriend, my mom and my grandfather who also lived at the house. I don't know where they went, maybe to the casino. My grandfather was very fond of going to the casino, so I decided to stay home. All right, I'm, I'm telling a story. story. I decided to stay home and I was here in the basement where my brother's room used to be. And I was playing Ocarina of Time and I could not figure out, I don't need to use a bathroom. I could not figure out how to get past a certain part. So I went up to my room, which had a printer to print out attic, no reason to go there. Gotcha. To print out a walkthrough, and I heard some weird stuff upstairs. It almost sounded like a ball bouncing on the floor in the attic. And then the pitter-patter of dog feet. So I ran down here into the basement and freaked out a little bit. Gotcha. Started playing the game, and then I heard, I shit you not, I heard right outside the door. This leads to the backyard. There's a door back there. I heard what sounded like a woman's shriek. And so I threw the covers over my head and I just chilled there for like 15 minutes. I've told my brother this and he never believed me, but I swear it happened. Anyway, let's get to the game. Check phone. Hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. I almost said that. What did you say? I almost thought that said cake. Take cake. Gotcha. Okay, well, there there it goes. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. What do you mean? This house is incredibly clean. Oh, the dining table. Ugh. Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically, she is my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent about a half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and let her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. And then she heard a noise in the attic. Haha. <laughs> is this my kitchen? Why is everything so incredibly dark in this house? Look at that. Turn on a light. All right, do we have a dishwasher? Or do I pot? Yeah, do the dishes. Old school. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claiming she was probably just getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. So what do I do now? <clears throat> Time to get some sleep, thank you. thank you for letting me know. Don't need to go in the boiler room, I have a feeling I probably will eventually. It says to go to bed, but... Do I grab my phone? I should probably grab my phone, right? No? A guide to talking about the weather. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm going upstairs. I'm leaving my phone down here, and my TV is positioned in the worst possible way. I guess it makes sense with the couch where it is, but move the couch over and then move the TV over. Is there anybody here? Don't need to use the bathroom. Oh, oh the shadow of this plant. 
The shadow of this plant scared me. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. Look at this. Not creepy. The noises. They're coming from the attic. Okay. Search the attic. I'm not gonna lie, my entire body just got a wave of chills going through it. This is actually creepy, and the door is open. I don't remember leaving this door open. Oh. Always a good sign. You love to hear the crescendo of horrifying horror soundscape. Royalty free. All right, well. Well. Well, here's... <laughs> this is stupid. There's nothing up here. I beg to differ. This is the worst possible painting you could ever have. Oh, oh God. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. The sounds, my dude. And it doesn't help that this vaguely looks like my attic. At least before it was updated. Okay, I'm, I'm going down. Can I close? I guess I can't close the door no matter how many times I press E or click. All right, going down. Good thing the horrifying music is over. Can I close this door? No? All right, well, this is fine. I'm going back to bed. Good night. Blacking out. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake and you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything and you question it once more. Is the man in the attic real? Whoa, I am a completely not in control of this. Okay, a slow zoom. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh, is something bad gonna happen? No. Oh. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Okay. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. That was pretty good, I gotta say. It did a lot with very little, and it leaves a lot to the imagination. That's one thing that I, I don't know, man. There's, there's something about that. You don't see it too often in an indie horror game. But letting the player decide and letting the player kind of build the story up in their head and the fear in their own head, it's such a good idea. And normally I like to see some kind of monster or some kind of shadow figure, something to that effect. But I think leaving it very much in the background was such a good move for this game. I enjoyed this. The storytelling was really good. The atmosphere was really good. The kind of I don't know, the fear of being alone in your house was very palpable. I really enjoyed this and I recommend it to anyone who wants to try it out. I'll be leaving the link down below in the description as usual. But that's gonna be it for me today. Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate you all so much for being here and for showing me your support every single day on this channel. If you happen to enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment, let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.